Hi, everybody. It's Mark Rushton of MarkRushtonGallery.com. It is Sunday afternoon, November 27, 2022. I, you know, I've just been screwing around today, and uh, it's time to get down to work. I mean, I've been doing other stuff, too. But let's, get some, let's get some work done here. Let's do motivation here. So... Um, Worked on this last night, and I'm happy with it. I'm happy with it. I mean, you know, yeah, I'm happy with it. Looks good. I, I like making these little, small little, they seem simple, but, you know, there's a lot that goes into them. And honestly, these paintings have been in the works for years because they're repaints. So... This is acrylic ink and acrylic paint on spun bonded olefin. Spun bonded olefin is a synthetic paper product I've been working on for 30 years. It's also known as Tyvek by DuPont. To be very careful with it. But it's a great, it's a great product. You know, it's, uh, it's archival. It's... Mold resistant, water resistant, what else? Uh, recyclable, pretty amazing stuff. They used a lot for PPE, signage, uh, house wrap, lots of, lots of different purposes. It was originally discovered as a waste byproduct back in the 1950s. And by the time they got it formulated and everything like that, I believe they patented it and patented it in 1967 and now they have like a million different variations of it good product and i like to make art on it yeah i started using it 30 years ago as an art school as a poor art student went into blick went into the blick didn't have much money. They had a partial roll of this sitting in the back for hardly anything. Bought it. Loved it. There you go. A little bit of Tyvek tape. This is Tyvek tape here. To buy that on the uh, buy that on all the old internet. They don't have that sitting down at the old Ace. No, they don't sell Tyvek tape down at the Ace. Menards, Home Despot, or Lowe's. You can't buy Tyvek. Maybe you can. I don't know, but I have to go out to the the. I have to go out to the bad side of town on the internet there. And pick it up. Pick it up. So I thought I'd go and just photograph one of these here. <coughs> Get it ready for a. Uh, We can do it either way, really. No. The impending snowy sky and the deep fall landscape. Let's get that going here. Of course, I like to use my phone as the photography device. It's a good job. Well, see, that made noise. I don't know. Should be good. Looks good. I know I've been on a real kick lately with, uh, oh, I've got to name it now. i got to name it. I've got to stay in my good habits here. We're going to call this Snowy Autumn Landscape. Mark Rushton. And just to let everybody know, this falls into an 8x10. No, it's that. There we go. Oh, look at the, there we go. We're good. 
and that will probably go in the catalog and the website here in the next couple of days. Unless, of course, you really like that. In which case, hit me up. MarkRushtonGallery.com is the where you can begin contacting me. Just trying to get all my small originals out there. Got a bunch. Got a bunch more to do. Uh, what do we got in here? I got I've got several seasons of paintings to do here. Gee whiz. Yeah, I got another repaint to do here. Uh, let's take a look at this here because I, I I'm not feeling it anymore. Oh no, 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 no. That was not done. Why did I think that was done a few years ago? If you look at my Instagram today, I've got a image of a painting I made in 2006 called Haunted Garden. Haunted Garden, Haunted Gardens. I look back, I, I don't even know where that image is. It's probably somewhere in one of my portfolios. And uh, it's great. I look at that and I just kind of like, if I had just continued on that trajectory, I'd kept making art. If I had just kept making art in that vein for the next, well, but we'd be here, wouldn't we? Wouldn't we be here? We'd be here. But there was a lot of stuff going on at the time. And I wasn't selling anything and I didn't know how to do marketing and I didn't, you know, it was the beginning of social media and I was clueless. I didn't know, didn't know what to do. So I, I took the easy route out and gave up, gave up, quit for a while and kind of came back and made incomplete things like this. What should I do here? What should I do with this? Oh, I know what I'm going to do with this. Let's slather it in some uh, Holbein acrylic knot ink. I know they call it acrylic ink here, but it's uh, it says right here. So it could, Holbein acrylic ink is a water-based acrylic paint. Why don't they call it acrylic paint? I don't know. Do I have to shake it up? Hey, there's a BB in there. I didn't know that. Hold on here. Let me close that. I'm going to put this in front of the microphone. There's like a little plastic thing in there. that That's different. Very interesting. Let's get started here. Let's get started. We can start over again. Let's just slather the whole thing. Best I can. Okay. Let it dry for a little bit here. And then let's see, because I'm kind of, kind of loving that up there. Hold on. Yeah, I'm like, I don't, ugh. Whoa, that was so cool. That's like, that's just like right. See, that's like the magic. That's the magic of lots of different processes here. And so, uh, and it, it happens infrequently here. I suppose it depends on the, the fibers, the olefin fibers up here. And then how much ink is on and, you know, and then how I put this on. I'm just going to let it dry. I'm not going to slather it anymore because it's just going to, I don't want it to smear. I want that white there in those fibers. 
hopefully it will not dry up. It, it looks like it's kind of drying up, but let's get this out of here so I'm not tempted to do anything. So we'll play around with the lower section here. I will have to do that with paint. But I'm kind of happy with how that turned out, as long as that doesn't disappear. Because I want to keep that electrical feel, that 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 um, textural thing going on. Because the, the, the great thing about a, a spun bonded olefin is that each sheet, each section is entirely random. And so... What's not the love? All right, so we got blue and you know blue and orange isn't that's not a bad combo. It's better than green. All right. Doesn't take much paint. Doesn't take much paint. Uh, that kind of largely dissipated, but we'll see what we can see what I can get out of it here. This is going to green up a bit, but we'll probably have to put some layers on here. I don't want it to be so green. I want it to kind of be more orange. That's kind of interesting. That's sort of a... Uh, hold on here. That that's that's kind of fascinating there. Tempted to just uh, Smoothing it out, I'm making it worse. There we go. There we go. That's what we want. I'll be on later this evening, probably nine ish. I don't know, nine central, nine CDT. I got a Swing over to my parents and help them out with their cell phone issues. Just swap a SIM. See if that solves the problem. That was quick. I arrived at that quick. Let's uh, let's take that offline. Let's try another one. That's good, but I want to see what happens to it. What you got next, Rushton? Bad ones in there. Yeah. 
heated feel. Well, not that heated. old sitting around which one's different this that's right Go on the same tack here. Great. Look how that kind of dissipates. Put it on there and it just it kind of it kind of dissipates see that i'm gonna do a time lapse on that it's like it's settling into the grooves that's really weird i think i've probably seen a variation of this with the other probably with the amsterdam acrylics now, how far is this going to fade? That's the thing. Is it going to stop at some point? It's like, probably because I shook it up, it's probably got some sort of foaming effect in there or whatever. Boy, I like that. I hope that doesn't fade anymore. I kind of want it to stay kind of staticky. This seems like it's fading a little bit. Let's try something a little different. That's faded quite a bit. Experiment time. What if I put more ink on here? Spread it around. Let's see what happens. I kind of like if it could just stop right there, stop right there, stop, stop, stop. It seems to be fading. It seems to be fading. Hello, how you doing? I don't want it to fade. I want it to like get to a certain point and then just stay there. So you look like you have those uh, cloudy skies. I like that. I like that. It's going to fade a little more. It's going to fade a little bit more. That's the thing about experimenting with the different uh, products and substrates and everything. Like you never know. You never know what you're going to get out of it, right? Let's hit. Let's hit the. Let's hit this lower section here with. Uh, 
We're just going to assume it's winter. Interesting, interesting, interesting. That did stay where I kind of wanted to stay. Um, I want to scrape this off a little bit here. Make it a little bit. Hold on. Bang in the, uh, bang in the. Not about what you put down, and sometimes it's about what you take off. Barber. I think I said that last night. I felt like a barber. Shaving heads. Kind of crazy. Kind of crazy. I'm happy with that. Happy with that. See how that's going. You know. So we got that. We got that. Well, I'll return to this. This one's good. I'll probably photograph this one later. This one, I might put another layer of uh, uh, the Hobine ink up here. I got to let this dry first. I think we'll be a couple layers of the Hobine acrylic ink up there. They kind of fade off a little bit, seep in. Because I want something more like this up here. I want that, so I'm just going to put that right here. Worry about that later. All right, that is it for this afternoon. I got stuff to do. Thanks, everybody, for showing up. Talk to you later.